Alright, ok, Assalamualaikum and good day everyone So, uh, sebenarnya kita tak habis lagi untuk topik 5.1 Quantum Numbers of Electron So, there is one last part Ok, so the very last part uh, we need to learn So, we need to learn how to write the four quantum numbers of electron Ok, but then before that, let's just revise first uh, Untuk kita punya the four quantum numbers Ok, so where N, N is the uh, principal principal quantum numbers so for n it describes the size and also the energy okay size and energy of uh, atomic orbital Meanwhile, we have also L. So, L pula adalah angular momentum quantum number. Okay, angular momentum quantum number. So, this one, it determines the shape of orbital. Okay. So, kita ada, uh, kita ada beberapa shell yang kamu kena tahu. I mean, beberapa shape yang kamu kena tahu So, we have S Where S is spherical And then we also have P Where P is dumbbell Okay And then we also have uh, D Where D is uh, Where D is Cloverleaf Okay And each of S, P, D uh, it has its own value of L Remember that So whereas the L value is equals to 0 For P, the L value is equals to 1 And uh, untuk D, the L value is equals to 2 And the L value depends on L values depends on N Okay, remember that Okay, and then kita pergi pula kepada M Okay, so M pula kita ada magnetic quantum number So, untuk magnetic quantum number um, This one, it determines the number of orientation And also the number of orbital Okay, so and the value of M it depends on L Okay, remember that Therefore, M is basically negative L uh, Up to positive L Please remember that Okay And then we have the last one We have S So, S is the electron spin quantum number So, for electron spin quantum number uh, It determines the direction of The electron spin The spinning of electron Okay So there is only two Possibility It's either clockwise or anti-clockwise Therefore the value for S For this there is only two possible value For this which is either positive Half or negative half Okay so please remember that Okay so now How To write Okay, so now we need to learn how to write the four quantum numbers. Okay, so in general, this is how you write it. So you need to put a bracket and then N followed by L followed by M and followed by S. Okay, so N, L, M, S. Hmm, kalau saya senang ingat mungkin nasi lemak memang sedap. Okay, so if you have any other way ataupun any other idea, boleh share macam mana nak hafal NLMS ni. So, dia sentiasa kena urutan macam tu. Okay, NLMS. Okay, and then it is equals to a value. It depends. So, misalnya kita X kat sini. And then Y, where Y depends on X. And then we have Z which depends on Y. And then the last one is either positive half or negative half. 
Okey, maksud dekat sini X merujuk kepada N, Y merujuk kepada L, and Z pula merujuk kepada M. Okey, and then S kita pula sama ada positive half ataupun negative half. Okey. Uh, so this is how you write the four quantum numbers of uh, an electron. Okay. So bear in mind, macam Miss pernah cakap before this, quantum numbers is actually, it's like uh, showing the position of electron in the orbitals, right? Macam Miss cakap before this, kalau you, you want to look for a position of something on the earth, we use the longitude and also latitude. So same goes to kita punya electron. Electron boleh berada dekat mana-mana dalam orbital kan? It might be in 1s, it might be in 2s. So we need to give a position untuk dia dekat mana. Okay, therefore we use the four quantum numbers to decide that uh, untuk tahu dekat mana kedudukan elektron. Okay, uh, so just imagine macam actually NLMS ni macam kamu sekarang lah dekat asrama. So N tu basically blok mana? Okay, blok mana kamu berada? And then L tu pula is basically dekat tingkat berapa pula kamu? Okay, and then M tu pula bilik nombor berapa? And then S tu pula katil nombor berapa. Okay, so macam kamu sekarang dalam satu bilik boleh muatkan empat orang kan maksimum. But bear in mind in kita punya orbital, one orbital, it can uh, accommodate up to two electrons. Therefore, uh, so ada dalam satu orbital tu ada dua possibility je lah. Uh, let's say macam kalau Miss guna contoh kamu juga. Uh, so dia macam dalam satu bilik tu ada... Kata double decker, tapi seorang perlu berada dekat atas, seorang perlu berada dekat bawah. Ha, okay. Jadi, let's say kamu dekat blok E. So, letaklah E. And then, kamu berada dekat tingkat 1. Letaklah 1. Lepas tu, kamu berada dekat bilik nombor 2. And then, letaklah nombor 2. Tapi, lepas tu, kamu kat katil atas ke katil bawah? Let's say katil atas adalah A, katil bawah adalah B. So, kamu dapat katil bawah. So, letaklah B. So, kedudukan kamu berada dekat E, 1, 2, B. Okay, so itu kalau contoh asrama lah. Uh, so, kita tengok pula how exactly it works with the electron here. Okay, so for example. Okay, so let's have a look at the example here. So, you are asked to write all the possible four quantum numbers for electrons in 3s orbital. Okay, so kita tengok dahulu contoh nombor satu which is the 3s orbital. So, we try to... Uh, extract out the information given to you from the 3s orbital so you know that 3s the 3 mewakili kepada value n and s pula mewakili value l therefore dah ada dua benda yang kita boleh dapat dekat situ so n equals to 3 whereas l equals to 0 kenapa 0 because the value of s is 0 so kalau l equals to 0 the only possible value for m is 0 juga Okay, jadi you know that dalam 3s orbital, you can accommodate up to 2 electron. Sebab 3s ada satu sahaja kan orbital dia. Therefore, dia boleh accommodate up to 2 electrons. Therefore, the 4 quantum numbers in the 3s orbital adalah, so tulis dahulu, make sure you write down the NLMS dalam kurungan jangan lupa benda yang bahagian depan ni NLMS tu jangan lupa and then baru kamu letak equal sign okay never abandon the NLMS please please kena tulis kalau tak ada tulis NLMS ni I wouldn't know apa benda yang kamu tengah tulis okay so tulis NLMS and then since the value of N kita dah ada which is 3 and then the value of L is 0 and the value of M is 0 so S pula adalah antara dua sahaja kan so sama ada positive half ataupun negative half therefore letak dahulu yang positive half punya okay and then itu untuk elektron yang pertama and then what about your electron number 2 so electron number 2 pula so kamu tahu ada satu lagi kan so tulis perkataan n dekat situ okay and satu lagi adalah 300 negative half so settle dah untuk kita punya 3s orbital so these are the four quantum numbers for the electrons in 3s orbital. So what about 4d? So let's try 4d plus 4d. So again, try to extract all the information given to you here. So we know that the n here is 4. Okay. L equals to 2 because 
kita ada d orbital kan so l equals to 2 and then since l equals to 2 m depends on l so kita ada 5 value untuk m which is Okay, negative 2, negative 1, 0, positive 1 and positive 2. Okay, uh, jadi dalam 4D, 4D class D, since kita ada M, ada 5 values, you know that there is 5 orbital. And you know that 1 orbital can accommodate 2 electron. So in total, kita ada berapa banyak electron yang kita boleh muatkan dalam 4D? Ada 10 electron. Okay, sebab 1 orbital, ada 2 electron. So kalau ada 5 orbital, so kita boleh letak 10 elektron So bermaksud ada berapa banyaklah 4 quantum numbers nak kita nak kena tulis Ada 10 Because why? Kita tengok balik soalan Soalan cakap write all the possible 4 quantum numbers for electrons in 4D So since there, there are a possibility of 10 electrons there Therefore we need to write all 10 quantum numbers untuk Electrons yang ada dalam 4D orbital. Therefore, you can get N. Jangan lupa tulis N. L, M, S ni dahulu. Okay. So, we have 4, 2. Okay. And then, value M. Pilih satu dahulu. So, kamu nak tu, ambil yang negative 2 dahulu. So, letak negative 2 dahulu. And then, kita ambil lah positive half kan. Negative half dahulu. So, letaklah positive half dahulu. Okay. Then, mesti letak koma je lah. Sebab kita ada banyak lagi value yang lain kan So the next one would be 4, 2 So ambil lagi negative 2 juga Sebab dia kita ambil bilik yang sama Tapi katil yang berbeza tadi Kalau tadi seorang katil atas So satu lagi katil bawah kan uh, So ni Negative half pula Okay so bilik ni dah penuh Kan satu orbital kita dah penuh Kita ada lagi empat orbital kita nak isi So lagi empat orbital pula So kita satu orbital dah settle Okay so N dia sama value L dia sama value So M pula sebab negative 2 punya bilik tadi dah settle So kita ambil pula negative 1 punya bilik Okay so again kita ambil kata atas dulu lah Positive half Okay and then Dalam bilik yang sama which is the negative 1 punya bilik Kita ambil pula kata bawah So tulis yang negative half So bilik yang negative 1 pun Dah settle juga So kita ambil pula bilik yang Zero pula okay. So kalau yang zero pula So four, two again Dia masih di block yang sama Class let's say yang N tu tadi kan Block E kan So empat dia masih lagi dekat empat And then dia masih lagi berada dekat tingkat So let's say dia block E tingkat dua So dia masih tingkat dua tapi bilik yang berbeza So zero now so nak kata atas kan kata bawah is up to you ok so miss letak kata atas dulu dah senang ok and then ha, ni baru lima so ada lima lagi so tulislah lagi yang lain-lain tu settle ok so settle lah kita punya sepuluh quantum numbers Okay, so Miss Harap, Miss Harap kamu fahamlah benda ni. So sekarang ni untuk kita punya 4D orbital ni tadi, so semuanya berada dekat shell number 4 and then dia berada di dalam D orbital. So that is why the value of N dengan L tak ada beza. Okay, untuk yang ke-10 kita punya um, quantum numbers ni. Uh, tapi kalau untuk kita punya M pula M tu tadi adalah Dia kan kita ada 5 orbital kan So mungkin dia berada di orbital sini Mungkin dia orbital ini Mungkin ada orbital kat sini atau sini Ataupun sini So that's why value of M Berubah-ubah Okay sama ada kamu nak letak negative 2 Negative 1 0 Positive 1 Ataupun positive 2 Tapi bear in mind Dalam setiap bilik tu tadi Semuanya boleh muatkan 2 elektron Okay, satu so, kalau kita tengok the very first two example dekat situ, negative two tu kan, so satu positive half, satu lagi negative half. Sebab apa? Sebab satu yang mengarah ke clockwise, satu lagi yang mengarah ke uh, anti clockwise. Okay, so this is how you write the uh, set of quantum number. Oh yes, miss lupa pula. This is what we call as set of quantum number sebenarnya. Okay, set of quantum number bermaksud kena ada keempat-empatnya. Ada N, ada L, ada M and ada S. Okay, so now class, I want you to write down. Okay, so this is your task. Okay, so test yourself. Okay, test yourself untuk set quantum numbers. Ah. Um... Ok, 
okay so list all possible sets quantum number for electrons in n equals to 2 okay ha, so miss kali ni miss bagi dekat kamu shell sahaja n equals to 2 miss tak bagi a specific orbital kalau tadi contoh yang diberi kepada kamu you are given 3s orbital and 4d orbital tapi sekarang ni miss bagi dekat kamu shell n equals to 2 jadi miss nak kamu try decide sendiri dalam n equals to 2 ada orbital apa ok ada orbital apa and then miss nak kamu list out kan semua possible sets quantum number yang ada dalam n equals to 2 so kamu kena cari sendiri dalam n equals to 2 ni boleh letak berapa banyak elektron ok and once you're done with this I want you to upload it in GC nanti miss akan sediakan um, folder tutorial online for week 11 so please upload inside there ok so that's it untuk kita punya 5.1 settle dah so go to the next subtopic pula ok